As the shortcomings of behaviorism became apparent, the mid-20th century saw the emergence of a radically different perspective on language development called nativism. Nativism views language as an instinctively driven form of communication specific to humans. The leading proponent of nativism is Noam Chomsky. Unlike scholars before him, he focused on syntax, detailing the similarities shared by the syntaxes of all human languages. He proposed that the similarities might hold the secret to why toddlers learn the structure of their native language so rapidly and without explicit instruction. Chomsky wrote, The language faculty has an initial state, genetically determined, uniform for the species, we call the theory of the initial state universal grammar, UG, for short. Recent formulations of UG are quite minimal. All languages have open-class words and closed-class words and morphemes. Members of the open class must merge with the closed class to create phrases and sentences. In development, infants process incoming linguistic data through the filter of UG to construct a syntax mirroring that of the adult. How well does nativism account for the puzzle pieces of language development introduced in video one of this series? Intentional communication, the one-word stage, and telegraphic speech leading to linguistic creativity. UG does not explain why nonverbal intentional communication with its hallmark behaviors of pointing and other gestures is such an important step in developing language. UG does not explicitly predict the occurrence of the one-word stage, although it has long been noted that the one-word stage highly favors the production of open-class words to the near exclusion of the closed class. UG posits different roles for the open and closed classes, and it is possible that UG directs the infant to learn the open classes first. UG provides a strong account of telegraphic speech. In telegraphic speech, toddlers attempt to combine open class words into phrases and sentences. UG does not specify the exact list of closed class words and morphemes that must appear in the syntax of a given language, and so children must learn the closed class specific to their language during the period of telegraphic speech. Because of the lack of specification, UG predicts that there will be telegraphic speech in the learning of all languages. Finally, UG has within it an explanation of linguistic creativity. The process of merging open and closed classes repeats upon itself, creating longer and more complex structures that can be used to express an infinite number of novel ideas. The theory of UG has propelled us forward in our quest to explain language development, but it does not account for all of our puzzle pieces. Stay tuned for the next video in this series as we explore the contributions of social interactionism here on this YouTube channel.